Okay, well, for anybody who might be watching eventually, listening to this in the future, let's let's talk RTT, guys. So I know many of you guys uh, have been following me for a little while. And thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody uh, who's been following along, who's been, you know, um, reading all of my posts or even just supporting me uh, just by being there. I appreciate you and thank you. So, um... We want to talk about RTT. How is it going to change your life? Well, I can start by telling you how it changed my life, right? My life changed immensely. Um, about four years ago. About four years ago, I was in the hospital and I was dying. Life wasn't going well for me, guys. Um, and I found RTT hypnosis then. That's when the light bulb went off, I, I'd like to say. Prior to that, I was, I was sick for 15 years where I couldn't work, I couldn't do much. My brain was mush, or at least I thought it was mush. Um, I'd given up on myself, I'd given up on life. And so what happened was that day in the hospital, it actually ended up being a month that I was there when this happened, but that day, I had already told the hospital I wanted to not be resuscitated. I already told them it wasn't something I wanted to do. And so when I did crash, they kind of shook me. And I guess they asked me if this is really what I want, right? Do, do I really want to be let go? And of course, in that moment of death, I said, no, I want to live. I want to live. Please allow me to live. Bring me back. And so they did, they resuscitated me. And when I came back, I was begging for God to help me in any way possible. And he brought me to Marissa Pierre, a video from her. That video changed my entire life. That video taught me self-hypnosis. That was the video I was watching, her self-hypnosis video. And in that hospital bed, I tried it. I tried the self-hypnosis. I wanted to see how it was gonna work for me. And it did. I didn't think it worked. I didn't feel like it worked right? But I had been in that bed, like in a ball, lying in a ball in that bed for, oh gosh, uh, almost a month, right? But that day, within an hour of me doing self-hypnosis on myself, the nurse came in, she tried to take my levels, like my, she put the cuff around my arm, that little thing on your finger, took my temperature, all that stuff. And everything had changed. She said, what have you been doing? I'm like, well, I've been sitting here working on my computer. Because suddenly, instead of laying down, as I had been in a ball laying down, I was now sitting up. And I was working on my computer. And I was like feverishly working, just typing. And just, my brain was just firing. And I'm like, I've been doing nothing, just sitting here. And I didn't realize in that moment that that was something, that was something huge for me. Because I wasn't able to do that three hours ago, right? But here I was. And so when she did all of that, she said, well, you're, it looks like you've been running a marathon around, around, the, um, around the hospital. And I'm like, well, I haven't left my bed. You know that. And she's like, it looks like you've been running. What have you done? So I told her I did the hypnosis. That's what I've done and it's changed. And I guess that's, it did. It changed everything. And from that day forward, I went out of that poor me stage. I went out of um, all of those symptoms and reasons and icky feelings that I wanted to stick into before that I had been living in before. I was willing to let it all go in that moment because I knew it was possible now because that hypnosis got me from not even knowing my name, not being able to think properly to firing off incredible ideas instantly. And so I went for rapid transformational therapy. I got it done. And um, I found out that it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And over time, I started to really get so much better. My brain started to work incredibly well. All of the issues that I had in the past were now gone. So the self-doubt that I suffered, the anger, the depression, um, PTSD that I had from an abusive relationship, all of that was leaving. It was going, it was gone. 
because of rapid transformational therapy. That's the only thing that had gotten me out of it. And trust me, I had tried other therapies in the past. I had tried so many things. Nothing worked until this. And it's because I'm stubborn. I'm a stubborn human being and that's what it took for me. And you don't have to be stubborn to use hypnosis, but you don't have to be stubborn to use hypnosis. It's going to work for you. It's going to work for everybody. And I know a lot of you out there think, Jesus, it's not going to work for me. You can't hypnotize me. I call BS on that, guys. I can hypnotize you. You can be hypnotized. Everybody can. In fact, right now, watching your television at home, you know, all day today, you were hypnotized. You were hypnotized from the music you heard on the radio to the commercials you heard, the TV shows you're watching, all of them use forms of hypnosis within them to get you to watch them again, to purchase things, to keep coming back. So you've been doing it since you're a child. And in fact, between the ages of zero and seven, maybe even 10, we are in a constant state of hypnosis. All of us, every single human being, because that's when we're learning. So we're being hypnotized by our environment, by everything around us. So, yeah, it's different. When you allow and you understand that you are hypnotizing yourself and that you are being hypnotized by the world around you, you kind of have to take charge of that and start doing it for yourself instead. So take control of your mind before somebody else takes control of it, right? Yeah. And uh, so I guess if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Let me look at some questions that are being asked here. Hmm. Okay. So they want to know um, exactly what it feels like to be hypnotized. And... That's different for everybody, guys. Super different for everybody. Listen, uh, when I first started hypnotizing myself even, they told me I was supposed to get images that rose to the top, and that never happened. What happened instead was I went to black, but that black started to show colors. It started to um, bring emotions with it, feelings, memories. And so when the, the therapist posed the question, my brain automatically started to bring the answer up because that's what happens with this hypnosis. Your brain will bring the answer up. And uh, what happened was I, I didn't see the pictures right away. It took about, I guess, my second hypnosis before I started seeing images because I was scared. I wasn't, I was so nervous about what was going to happen and everything like that. But again, I did see, I, I felt things. I felt things. So I knew what the answers were. And it was like the stories were being told. I can hear them being told in my head even though I couldn't see the actual image or the actual story. So, um, yeah. It was... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted, guys. Getting distracted by people joining our call right now. Um, thank you for joining, everybody. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. This Today is my first day um, on live. So if I'm not being able to add you properly, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know how this is done. I'm, I'm learning as I go today, so bear with me here, and we will get you on. All. I see Diana is coming on. I love Diana. She's one of our uh, first clients that I had when I first started working with Rapid Transformational Therapy, and I'm excited to talk to her. Um, so welcome. Uh, as well, guys, okay, so let's go back to what it feels like to be hypnotized. It feels like different, okay? Some people will feel like they're floating. Some people will feel like they are sitting in front of a television screen and they are really focused on that show and they're not hearing anything else around them anymore. It's all disappeared. That means uh, you're, you're under hypnosis in front of that screen, right? So um, it's different. Some people will um, feel as though nothing's changed, nothing's going on until the moment they realize that their eyes are locked clo closed and they can't open their eyes. Because under this style of hypnosis, that's what I do. I, I don't even suggest. I tell your mind that you can't open your eyes. Your eyes are locked closed, sealed shut. You can't open them. And in fact, you can't. And most people think, oh, that's BS. You really can't. You can't open your eyes. 
now that being said, as the hypnosis goes on, as uh, you know, let's say the internet dropped off or something like that. Yeah, eventually you would open your eyes. It will happen. You'll come out of hypnosis because you don't hear my voice anymore. It's me. I'm the catalyst. My voice is the catalyst of why your eyes stay shut. So as long as you keep hearing me speak, as long as I'm still present, your eyes will be locked. That's how you know you're hypnotized. Um, and so I know people are hypnotized by watching them. I can see physically their face is changing, their body is changing, their voice change. Everything changes is under hypnosis. So for some, I will witness their wrinkles diminishing on their face, right? And for other people, I will see uh, a glow coming to them. Suddenly it's peace, you know, where they come in all stressed out and you can see the tightness the tightness in their face, how stressed out they actually are. And, you know, an hour after I start that session, I start to see it release. Well, they have to go through the trauma first. They have to go through the crunching of the face, the crying, let it all out. But once they release, I see transformation. I physically see changes in my clients. So I know that they've been hypnotized because I can see the change. I can see the change when I'm talking to you. Under hypnosis, I can tell by the way you're responding as well. It's different. So for those who believe they can't be, well, yeah, you, you absolutely can be. But again, it's going to be different for every single person who gets hypnotized going in. And it's relaxing. It's fun. It's safe. It's safe for everybody. Um, because when you come in here, it's such a light state of trance, such a light state that it's enjoyable. And it's because we need to have a conversation with you. So through the entire time, your conscious mind is resting. It's sleeping. But your subconscious mind, that one's alert. It's been risen to the top, and it's having a conversation with me. And that's the part of you that can't lie, your subconscious. Okay, That's the part of you that always tells the truth. And that's what it tells me when I ask it its questions. It tells me the truth. And you're going to wonder, well, how do you get these questions? How do you get them? Okay, well, you and I, the client and I, that's what we discuss before the call, before we go into that hypnosis session. We discuss what you want to know, what you want to ask your mind, what you want to change. And once we figure that out, the rest is easy. So just ask the questions and then your mind does it all because guess what? You already have all the answers. I don't have any of those answers for you. I don't know anything, in fact. All I know is what questions to ask you. And then you give me all the answers. Your mind unloads it. It knows already. It knows why it's chosen to do things. It knows what path it needs to be on. It knows what direction it needs to go in. It knows. You know. It's just locked inside of you. And so that's what we use rapid transformational therapy for, is to unlock all of that knowledge that you already know. Unlock it so that you can get back to living life the way you should have always lived it. Go back to the original coding in your body that you were born with. You know, the self-confidence that we had before life shat on us, that sort of thing. That's what it brings you back to. So... Uh, I'm inviting anybody else who has questions, ask me the questions you've got. Just put them in the chat box. I'm here and ready to answer them for you. Uh, and I'm welcoming everybody again to this call, and thank you for joining me, guys. Um, so let's go to our next question. Age. Oh, that's a good question, guys. How old can you be to be hypnotized? Well, generally any age, really, but with this company, I'm a little hardcore, <laughs> so I would like you to be about 12 years old and up, a little bit more mature. Um, yes, you can hypnotize younger children. Uh, that takes a very good specialist, and we will have those on board coming in the months to come. We do not have anyone who specializes with young children as of right now. So if you come to us at, at Hypnos Hypnos Therapies, uh, you can be as young as 12 and as old as, well, as old as whatever age is the eldest on the planet. It doesn't matter. At any age, we can grow and change and learn. It's We're never too old. So 12, guys. 12 is the youngest I will accept for me in this company anyways. Uh, what we don't accept 
That's another good question that I see on here. What don't we accept? Well, we don't accept people with severe mental illness. So schizophrenia, people who are, you know, delusional. We don't accept people who have bipolar or any of those things. And it's not because we can't. It's because we're not qualified right now. We need specific clinical therapists on board, and we don't have them. So we can't work with those individuals. So, so we recommend that those people go to a psychotherapist, and they will help you as well. So everyone else is welcome to come to us, and we'll help you. Anybody suffering, what we specialize in is we work with people suffering from anxiety, depression, anger, self-doubt, you know, self-hate, that stuff, PTSD. Can we handle PTSD from the war? Probably not, guys. We're not set up for that, but we can handle everyday PTSD stuff from abuse situations. If you've been attacked, raped, beaten, living with a narcissist, whatever the case may be, we can handle those kind of PTSDs. So those are the people we can work with and we can help you to move forward. And that's our goal. We lead with love. And so our goal is to, um, I guess, show love, be love, give love, share love, all of those things and teach people how to do all of that too. And guess what, guys? I did not know how to do that five years ago. I was a jerk five years ago. I didn't know how to be love and show love. I had it inside of me. I knew, I, I knew what love was. I didn't know how to show it and be it. So now I do. And I thank the hypnosis. I thank rapid transformational therapy for that. Because without it, I was so stuck, I couldn't see beyond my own self-hate. And now I'm not that anymore. Now I'm happy to be alive. I wake up with a smile every day. I go through my day with a smile. And even when things get going and I get frustrated in the daytime, and even if somebody comes and upsets me or says something hurtful, I no longer stay angry for long. It actually only lasts maybe 30 seconds, a minute, and then it goes right back down. And my mind starts to rationalize everything. It starts to come up with answers. And um, so we're still trying to accept Diana. Sorry, Diana. Um, yeah. I still come up with answers quickly. So my brain actually now, since the hypnosis, doesn't allow it to dwell in the negative, in the negative stuff anymore. I don't know. Now I resolve things. I have answers. I work towards my goal. And it, it works. It really works. Every day. Every day. It's actually even getting better. And it was, I started hypnosis almost three years ago. And every day I still see my mind is growing. My life is growing because of it. So this is not the type of therapy that you have to come to over and over again for the rest of your life. That's not what rapid transformational therapy is. We are kind of a one and done shop. You come in, you fix your issue, and from there, you don't have to come back because it's been fixed, right? It's gone. So in fact, from that day forward, after the first 30 days of our first hypnosis session, you become liberated. And you, your mind now starts to go in the direction that you want it to go. And hi, Diana. And you change. But it takes that 30 days to change, and those changes start to last for a lifetime. Because, <coughs> excuse me, once you get past that hard point and you get into the good parts, it does last a lifetime because you've already learned how to pivot your life. And so, hi, Diana. You finally got to join. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Uh, um, I'm so do you happy. have any questions for me today, darling? Uh, Maybe I have a lot, maybe not. Uh, I'm happy now. Do you hear me? I sort of, I, I sort of hear a whisper of you. Oh, 
that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to talk, but I don't know if it's sorted. That's okay. So you hear me? I hear you a little, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong. So I just wanted to stay here for a little because I have to go out. That's perfect. I appreciate you joining me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> this call. And I'm happy I can see you face to face and communicate. <laughs> so I will switch off the camera and just listen. Yeah. Perfect. Nice okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Alrighty, guys. Okay, back to discussing. So where did I leave off? I left off with, um, I guess, how, what hypnosis feels like, what it's like to be hypnotized, all of that stuff. Who's allowed to be hypnotized? Hmm. The people we work with, of course, mostly entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs who are struggling, struggling to get off the ground, struggling to figure out their life's path, where they want to go in life. Uh, it doesn't matter your starting point either, guys. If you're not knowing and what you want to do, you're working a job you hate, you want to change your life, but you don't know what it is, or if you already have your career, you're already at working as a coach or whatever it is, your job, and you already are on that path, but you got stuck, and now you're going one step forward, three steps back. That's our group. That's our clients, guys. These are the people that we bring towards us to work with because we know how to help you get forward. That's my story. I was stuck. I was stuck in this loop of pain, this loop of self-doubt, this loop of hate, this loop of PTSD, anxiety. And to the point where my anxiety was so bad, I couldn't leave my house. I had a hard time leaving. I just posted about that this week that I was in such a depression with such anxiety that I could not leave my home and uh, people had to drag me out. I was missing family events, Christmases, all of these things. Rapid transformational therapy changed that for me because I couldn't change it for myself. I didn't know how, I tried everything. And I tried the meditation, I tried therapy and it didn't work. But now when I go back and I do meditation, guess what, it works now because I was able to unlock the pattern. I got myself out of the fight or flight, and now I'm thriving. And when you get yourself out of that fight or flight, when you open the door, you can now see all the possibilities that are available to you. That's the beauty of it all. So that's, that's why we want people, that's why we urge people to jump, jump towards your goals jump with rapid transformational therapy because it's going to help you. It, it was the only thing that was able to help me. And for many years, my doctors kept telling me it was in my head and I didn't know what they meant. I thought they were calling me a liar. Now I know exactly what they meant. It was in my head. My illness was kept bad, was continuously getting worse because my mindset wouldn't let it get better. My mindset believed that I needed to be sick, that I needed to be dying, and so I punished myself. I kept punishing myself with illness. I kept punishing myself with hate, and, and I gave up. I gave up, guys. But now, now I'm back. Now I have um, the joie de vie, uh, how do you say that in English? The love of life that kids have. That's what I have now, you know. I, I love to go out and, and play and to smile and laugh. And when I go out, I swear, I at least launch five to ten compliments to perfect strangers when I'm out. That's not something I used to do, but it is something I do now. Why? Because I feel that love and happiness inside of me. It's all in there. And that's what it brings to you. So if you're sitting there in misery, if you're sitting there grumpy right now going, you know, this, ha, I don't believe this girl, what the hell, what is she going through? Just know that I was where you were. I was grumpy. I was that person who just walked, I was looking for enemies when I walked out of my house. I was that person, right? And now I'm not that anymore. 
Now I'm gainfully employed. I'm full of love. I'm full of life. And I have fun. And I smile. And I laugh. And I'm making friends everywhere I go. And everything has changed for me. Like my entire life has changed for the better. And that's what it can be for you. So I urge you all to come aboard. Come talk with me. Every Friday we're going to do this. We'll figure out how to do these darn live chats as we continue to go on and accept all these people in and all that stuff. Come join us. Come talk. Come figure out if it's for you. I also have staff who are going to be calling out on you guys. All the people in my friend list. I have new staff members who I've just hired, and they're freaking amazing women. And they are going to come and talk to you and find out what your needs are. They're going to see what you need from this group, what we can give you more of, what I can show you more of, how I can teach you that rapid transformational therapy will change everything for you. Because that's what it does. It's different than any other therapy you've ever experienced. Ever. This is therapy on steroids, everybody. It's neurolinguistic programming, cognitive behavioral therapy, hypnotherapy, and psychotherapy all combined into one magical, powerful therapy called rapid transformational therapy. And it's all here for you guys. So all you got to do is reach out and we're ready to talk. So please leave comments on my page. I'll reach out to you. My staff will reach out to you or reach out to us in any way you can. We're here for you. Thanks for joining me guys today. Love and kisses to everyone. Bye.